All it takes is one look at the new season of Rainbow Six Siege to tell you that High Caliber is here to make an impact. Yes, that's a new HUD, and yes, that's a new gun. The operator wielding it is Thorn, a new Irish defender with a gadget she likes to hide in sneaky places around the map. Find one and you win a prize! Prizes may include panic, severe injury, or death. High Caliber is also delivering a full rework for the Outback map, new rules for camera gadgets, player protection updates, and more. Plus, here's your girl Finca, using a nano boost charge to get herself up from DBNO. She can do that now. But let's wind it back to that gadget for one sec. This is the Razor Bloom Shell, a lovely name for a deadly device. Thorn can throw these little gadgets and they'll stick basically anywhere. After the fuse is set, the Razor Bloom lies in wait for an attacker to wander into its proximity. When one comes close enough, the timer starts ticking, and shortly after, yikes. This thing absolutely will kill you if you're too close, though it's possible to survive if you're on the outskirts of the radius or manage to escape it in time. What makes the Razor Bloom shell truly deadly is savvy defenders, and they do this in a couple of ways. Firstly, as an attacker, hearing a fuse timer activate is alarming. You're likely to get a wee bit distracted, and Thorn is likely to be nearby to stick it to you. Secondly, it's a lot harder to sprint out of its deadly radius when there's barbed wire at your feet, or one of Legion's goo mines in your ankle, or Malusi's banshee ringing in your ears. Thirdly, Clash. Dealing with this shield-wielding slow-down specialist when there could be razor blooms about? No thank you. Or, yes please. It all depends on which side you're on. If that happens to be the attacker side, then there are a number of ways you can proceed. Razor blooms can be destroyed by bullets or lasers or explosions, or disabled by EMPs. Their fuse timer does give you a quick window for a quick reflex shot, providing A, you can find it and shoot it in time, and B, you don't get shot while looking for it. If you prefer to play it more safely, you can scout for shells with zero or IQ, or go hunting with a Twitch drone. Razor Bloom shells can force the attackers to burn time and betray their position, and if attackers choose to rush in without first sacrificing some time or intel, well, Thorn will be more than happy to greet them with her M870 shotgun or her UZK50GI submachine gun. The UZK50GI submachine gun is entirely new, a custom weapon created by the Siege team for you, the Siege player. This thing rips. Like, literally rips open holes in walls and floors. It may be an SMG, but the UZK 50 GI is chambered with 50 caliber rounds to give Thorn plenty of destructive power. Complement it with the 1911 TAC Ops pistol or the C75 Auto machine pistol and pair her razor bloom shells with barbed wire or a deployable shield. Thorn is coming, so watch your step. Located a bomb. Now, if you've been watching closely, you've probably already noticed some key changes to the Outback map. There is a full rework of the garage slash restaurant slash motel coming with the high caliber season, and almost every area has been optimized for cleaner navigation and better flow. The garage size has been reduced, and more cover and windows have been added to make it more viable for the defenders. Upstairs, there's a new exterior breakable wall close to the party room and office bomb site, while the restaurant area downstairs has been split beneath the shark to break up some big sight lines. On your way over to the motel, you'll notice that the outdoor terrace has been enclosed, now accessible through an exterior double door, and the motel rooms and bathroom have been simplified to make for clearer, more intense engagements. There are plenty more changes to adapt to, so be sure to check out the Discovery playlist and learn the ropes. High Caliber is also rolling out this sharp new HUD you've been seeing here. One designed to bring the visual language of Siege up to speed and lay the groundwork for what's to come. Additionally, the cameras of Valkyrie and other defenders are getting a unifying rule regarding outside placement. They'll all only last a few seconds outside before disconnecting, giving the attackers more clearance to approach the building. 
Further updates to player protection, balancing changes, and more are on the way. You can read more about them on Rainbow6.com. These updates, as well as the Outback map rework, will be free for all players when High Caliber launches. Thorn will be available on the premium track of the High Caliber Battle Pass at launch, and will be unlockable two weeks later with Renown or R6 credits. Subscribe to this channel for the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.